Funky Kong is DLC 5, locking it in locking right it now. In. Guaranteed, you heard it from me first. Given Mario Kart stuff. His neutral B is an item box, he has Wario's bike. <laughs> <laughs> if you wheelie, it goes 10 times faster. I want this. <laughs> Alright, so we got Palutena versus Ken. Nito versus Jump Stay. Both of them known point for like each of these characters in this case. Yeah. We're in top 32 as well, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. And honestly, this can be a pretty tricky matchup for Ken just because the laundry machine is so powerful. <laughs> the laundry machine. But uh, I know Nito is very good at uh, this matchup and playing against Jump Steady in particular. Yeah. It definitely doesn't sound like a good, a good matchup in general. Nito's going to have a hard time just landing more anything else, I feel. Yeah, Palutena's up air will destroy Ken on landing if he can't get out of there. Cause <laughs> her airspeed is just so much higher and he can't get through without like making a smart air dodge. He's gonna feel a lot to mix up his recovery. Like right there, he just used the neutral B to get back. Just, just give him a little bit of like just, just yeah, stalling. Yeah, stalling. Yeah. The, the very limited use of Ken Fireball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Move is so bad, but in it's, those niche situations, is no way though. Jump say one hit away from dying though at this point. Yeah. Honestly, all he needs is a proc jab to shore you, and on this stage with its low ceiling. But uh, Ken will die machine. also low to the low <laughs> ceiling, so there you go. Get caught in the spin cycle one too many times. Just Can't be getting washed like that. It. It's looking to be in the match, too. Alright, spin maneuver to back air. It's really getting just no. caught right here with it. Can't really do much about it. Yeah. He's, he's, and yeah, Penalty is playing a very just, air, just aerial game as a whole. Just stay in the air a lot rather than just stay on the ground where Count or Nito in this case will take a big advantage. Yeah, like and that. Like, Ken is a lot less scary when you have stage control. Uh, he works a lot better by cornering you and forcing you to pick options and then catching them. Uh, but with Palutena's mobility and all of her aerials being great against Ken specifically, pretty much all of them except for down air are just great at doing very specific things against Ken. Yeah. Oh. I uh, tried to get a something back to the ledge, but Jump State was just able to stuff in that there. case. Oh, there we go. Now do that. Oh, no! Yeah. Hate I to see it. Still I got wonder, the kill, though. I wonder if it was DI up or if he's just got Ken, Ken Factor. I think it was Ken Factor. I think I think in this case, it was just... I don't even know what happened. He just got, just got out of it. Rage is like the craziest thing for Ken because like it allows him to do so much shenanigans, but at the same time, it also causes people to just fall out of all of his moves. Yeah. It's like, it's able to kill early, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's hard for him to actually, like, combo and connect it into a kill sometimes. Yeah. And yeah, it's just heavy short you can is a, just a ball of hitboxes that sometimes lead into each other. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's SDIing up because he went super far from that short you can. I can see that. All right, there's the oh, shield break. Oh, there's the shield break, and that's a kill. Yeah. Yeah, Jump State was a smash for Varen, so he knows how to play against Palutena in this case. So he's got that SDI on lock, I feel. Or beta, or whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying. Ah, yes. <laughs> now I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the explanation, sir. No probalo. All right, there he's going for the proc jab. If you see if they're a little bit too far, they'll go for that axe kick. Raw sure you. I think he was Ante holding. Anti you, yeah. yeah. He, was, he was holding in in this case, but still, still die from it. All right, guys. Suggestion. Oh? Don't go to low ceilings against Ken. <laughs> Good suggestion, honestly. Do not. Wait, did this go back to PS2? I think this went back to PS2. This is, this is the folly of Smash players. It was in Smash 4. They would take like Sheik to ZS or Sheik to Smashville every game. Mm -hmm. Here they'll take these characters that kill off the ceiling super low to PS2 every game. Like PS2 is a good stage. It's a good neutral stage in general for a lot of characters. But you should. But if you if you're getting killed off the top of like 70 on this stage, you shouldn't be going back to it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Well, it is what it is. Hopefully, Jump State figure, figure out something in the matchup here so he doesn't get just carried away by Ken stuff. Yeah. Guess what happened at the last at the last second there? He dash attacked. Neo fell in again and got dash attacked again immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That pair is just so good. It's weird that Ken, a Street Fighter character, a character that's known for being on the ground, it has a combo that leads into the kill off of an up air. Yeah. It's very weird. It's, aerial kill confirmed. It's weird in general that they get to cancel off the aerials in this game. It's it's very strange, but a very welcome change. Opens up a lot of new ideas for the characters. Definitely, definitely. Also, a lot of unintentional tots to stick your 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's pulling the laundry machine out, seeing if he can get out of the corner. All right, and gets it. But Ken's pressing buttons. Ken's pressing lots of buttons. If Just anyone, like that show you, Ken. If anyone out here is trying to press buttons, it's literally these two characters. It's literally <laughs> Kent and Masters. These are the buttonists of all the characters. <laughs> oh, that's it. That oh. was a really good dunk right there. Oh, no, no. Might as well give Ken that power dunk because that's what he just did to Palatina. GG's. 